If we draw two shapes one after the other, we can see that they're part of the same path group and will blend together to be drawn by the fill style. Both shapes have been intentionally closed. Both the path group and the paths within it contain Boolean operations. When these paths are created, the default Boolean operation is union. These union operations will merge the two paths to create a new composite shape, taking the combined silhouette of the two original paths. To demonstrate this more clearly, we can add a stroke style. If we disable the fill style, we can see that these two shapes have been merged and have been drawn with the outline of this unified silhouette. A new path was defined based on this union, and the resulting shape has been drawn using the stroke style. The Boolean operations for each of these paths can be freely changed. For example, we can add a path in union mode, and then switch the second path to difference mode in order to carve it into the first path. Switching back to the creation tool will display the overlays, and we can increase the stroke width value to better understand what's going on. The second path, which was previously in union mode and joined the first path, is now in difference mode and is subtracted from the first path. Path order here is really important. If we move path 2 to the top of the list, its difference mode won't be able to subtract any element, and then path 1 in union mode would be added to path 2. Just like with styles, keep in mind that operations are listed and the order of elements is read from top to bottom. First we add the element, then we subtract a second vector element. We can also just keep where these two shapes intersect, or the parts outside of where they intersect, by setting the boolean operation to exclude. When using exclude, we can re-enable the fill style to get a better idea of the result. Re-enable both styles and take a few minutes to play around and experiment with these different boolean operations, using at least two paths in a path group. Ignore is a special option that lets you completely disable a path as if it weren't actually listed in the path group. Unlike union mode, the independent option lets you add vector elements without merging them with other elements that are already present. Switching these two paths to independent mode means that they aren't merged. Keep this major difference from union mode in mind. These Boolean operations are also available for path groups. You can select path 1 and path 2 and change their Boolean operations in a single step. Multi-selection is supported. Now we can forget about the individual paths that make up this path group and just work with the shape as if it were one. We can also use its transform parameter to adjust its size and move it to the left in the viewer. Click on the shapes generator and draw a new path, which will create a new path group. This will also create a new fill, which we can delete. Click on path group 2 to select it and add a second path. Let's finish off by moving path group 2 up on the list. So to summarize, we now have path group 1 that contains two paths, and path group 2 which also contains two paths. Since these path groups are made up of two paths set to union mode, we have two composite silhouettes formed from the union of the paths that make them up. These two path groups now represent two independent paths. By adjusting path group 2's transform parameter, we can move this composite shape until it merges with path group 1, since these two shapes are set to union. All of the Boolean operations mentioned earlier are compatible with path groups, like difference and intersect mode. Even though a path group can be made up of dozens of paths, it's considered a single form. This allows complex operations to be performed between paths and path groups. In this video, we went over how to define Boolean operations between paths, combine paths to create new shapes, and apply these operations between path groups.